Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. This particular prophetic word title says, This very woman will sleep and will not wake up. It's her last night. The Lord is giving the last instruction to this very woman. The Lord is saying she will go to bed. She will not wake up. It's her last night. Tonight is her last night in the name of Jesus. And the Lord wants you to be aware. One thing I tell people about prophecy, prophetic word, for a word to be able to make manifest in your life, you have 75% part to play by hearing, accepting, and believing, and putting the word into practice. If not, it will not make manifest. This is actually a word that the Lord has sent me to declare to somebody. And through the title, you might be watching this video through the title. Stay with me from the beginning to the end. Believe me, there is a woman that God showed me. This woman who goes to bed and she will not wake up again. In the name of Jesus. She goes to bed and she will not wake up again. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are coming across this channel for your very first time, my name is Bazir. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Bazir. Please. If you have been believing God for a family to join, whereby you can help your spiritual life grow in one way or the other, you are the right place. Subscribe to become part of this home. So together as a church, whenever we are live, you will be notified. You join us together. Let us pray. We build our most holy faith in prayers. Remember what the scripture says, faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So let's Turn back to our prophetic word. Title which says, This very woman, hallelujah. There are people that when when they died, people celebrate. There are people that when they die, people cry. Praise Master Jesus. This particular woman the Lord is talking about. I saw a woman that has been on a mission. I saw a woman when 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 everybody goes to bed. I'm, I'm seeing this woman sleeping and going out. Now, when this woman sleeps, the physical body remains on the bed. The spiritual body goes out, causing havoc, destroying. And this woman has a particular time to go out and a particular time to come back. So at the place of prayers, the Lord says an angel has been released from heaven, from heaven to stop this woman. Because this woman is about to carry a very dangerous attack tonight. This woman is about to attack someone that knows the corridor. Hallelujah. The Bible says, When three nations gang up against Jehoshaphat, the Jehoshaphat came at the corridor of prayer. He told the Lord, Father, I know this corridor. What is your own opinion? The Bible says the Lord himself, before they reached the field, there was a confusion that was placed in the midst of the three nations. They fought among themselves, they killed themselves. Praise Master Jesus. So, the Lord is talking about this woman. She will sleep and she will not wake up. Because the way she, she exits the physical to the spiritual is that when she sleeps, the spirit will come out. The body will be there. And the position where she always goes, that's the same position that she will come back and enter. At the place of prayers, the Lord says, this woman has tried somebody that she was not supposed to touch. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 105 verse 15, Touch not my own anointed, and do my prophet no harm. So it's a scripture, and it's a law. If you think that you are so strong and so powerful, and you violate this law, the judgment and the wrath of God is upon your life. So I'm seeing this woman trying to touch an anointed one of God. And the Lord is saying, as she goes out today for the mission, an angel of the Lord will change her position for the way she cannot have access to her body. And she will come back, she will not be able to enter and that will be the end of it. So the Lord is saying, somebody watching and connecting should agree with me. I don't care to know. Hallelujah. We give no chance to, 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 for the wicked. There is no peace. Praise Master Jesus, no peace for the wicked. Anyone that has been exiting the physical 
to the spiritual to destroy and to kill people. Listen to me, I don't care to know if it's my mother, my auntie, my father, or whosoever. But I'm standing together in agreement with somebody. As they go out tonight, they will not come back. Let it be their end. The Bible talks on how the disciples were asking to Jesus about the parable of seven brothers that got married to one woman. The first married and died. The second married and died. The third married and died. The fourth married and died. The fifth, the sixth, the seventh. No one among his brother had the knowledge to be able to investigate to find out what is going on. So actually, what the Lord, Jesus, made us to understood that none of them. Why? Because nobody was sensitive enough to sense in the realms of the spirit that something was wrong. So therefore, I have come to speak to somebody watching and connecting. Any method or any channel of which these witches has been using to fly. The Bible says after which this, when these seven brothers died, this woman finally died. So this woman was on a mission. I want to pray. This attack this woman is about to launch tonight, she will go and she will not come back and she will not succeed. Wheresoever you are watching or connecting, I want you to agree with me. Any man or woman that has been operating in witchcraft in your family, attacking and oppressing people in the name of Jesus as they go to bed, and your Gabriel is coming to turn them to, to destroy their plans, they will not come back. It, it's their last night. Their mission tonight will not come to pass and it will not succeed. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching and connecting to this prophetic and prayers in Jesus' name. Amen.